What's up, guys? Welcome back to this week's episode of Morgan's Mind Podcast. I'm your host, Morgan Mills. I hope you had an amazing weekend. If you're listening to this just right after Mother's Day, this past weekend was Mother's Day weekend, and I had so much fun celebrating my mom. She's my best friend, my biggest role model, and so I love her so much, and we had a fun day outside almost all day. We went to the winery. We laid out and tanned. We went for a walk, and so we just had a fun weekend and day, and I hope that you did as well. Happy late Mother's Day if you're a mom, you're expecting, anything like that. If you're listening to this during the week, I hope that you had an amazing week or you have an amazing week to come, and yeah, I'm just super excited to be back this week. I know last week I didn't release an episode. I just had a ton going on, and Honestly, I just wasn't able to get to it and record it, so that's why this week I'm making sure that it happens. It's the beginning of the week. We're going to have a great week. We're going to start off Monday on a positive foot. I'm here chatting with you guys, so that's a plus, and yeah, I'm just excited to get into it. So, this week's episode is going to be about becoming that girl and whatever that kind of means to you. I just kind of wanted to talk about what I think that means to me, so let's get into it. So on social media specifically, I feel like you always hear and see people talking about, girls talking about becoming that girl, like becoming her habits, ways that I showed up for myself to become this girl and things. And so what exactly does it mean to be that girl necessarily? Well, honestly, in my opinion, I really think that it just means learning to love yourself and growing into the very best version of you. The version of you that makes you feel comfortable in your own body, in your own skin, and becoming the woman, the person that your younger self would look up to. I feel like that's what I kind of think the term that girl means or refers to. And I feel like it's getting to a point where you almost feel like you've transformed yourself or you've transformed your life in a way that has had a big and important impact on you. And really like how you do that is by picking up on and implementing small habits daily that over time are going to add up and lead you to where you see yourself being or maybe even didn't expect yourself to be. If there's certain areas of your life that you're not happy with, you always have the power to make a change. You're the one that's in control of your life. It's your story. You're the author and you can always change the direction of how things are going, change your path, and yeah, you have the power to make that happen. So, But this does not mean that you have to be following all the exact trends. You have to be doing exactly the thing that you see girls online, your favorite influencers. You don't have to be doing just that because what's working for them, what's working for someone else does not mean that it's always going to be working for you or have the same results. Things may seem perfect and aesthetic, but really instead i think you should take inspiration from that and pick up on the little things that you do like and enjoy and implement those into your own life your own daily routine and your own personal character you really just got to find what's going to work best for you so with all that being said i kind of want to just talk about and share some of the things that i think or would recognize that i guess i have done to become that girl or become the version of myself that i am right now and am today And I swear for me personally, it just feels like it's so much more motivating and it's easier to be locked in and grind and focused on what makes me feel good and what I want to do when it's summer and the warm weather. I really just feel like I'm a whole different person once it gets warm outside and I'm in the sunshine. I can do my work outside, I can go outside for a walk, I can get a tan, and yeah, the sun literally just makes me so happy. Yeah, I'm taking right now as a plus and using this new season, this new this new time of the year to get some more things going and take advantage of how I feel. So one of the number one things that I wanted to talk about that I feel like makes me feel like that girl is literally just doing what makes me happy. And what I mean by that is doing the things that I enjoy the most and that bring me happiness literally without caring about anyone else's opinion or judgments because I used to be at a spot where I feared what people were going to say about everything that I did, but now I literally just feel my best by doing what I want and not caring if others don't agree with it. For example, I love colors. I love my colorful outfits. I'm always in normally a colorful gym outfit, bright colors. That just gives me so much 
motivation and internal happiness, even if I'm not in the mood to lift, even if it's an ugly, rainy, gross day outside, I feel like it's sort of like you're bringing your own sunshine, you can be your own light and your own happiness and do what makes you feel good to have a good day. And for me, that is dressing up in bright, cute colors, getting, I know people say, oh, the gym isn't a fashion show, but to me, I look good, I do better. You know, if you look good, you feel good, and you're probably going to do better at whatever it is, whether it's working out, a project you're working on at work, anything like that. And so that's something that I definitely do. So I've found my own style, what I enjoy, and what makes me feel my best and confident, and I've just gone with it. And that's something that, for me personally, I've stuck with. And as I've gotten more into the gym and grown with my routine and my experience and my knowledge, I've grown into feeling my best self when I'm dressed a certain way for the gym. If you're someone that feels like maybe a wardrobe upgrade, a change in your style is what's going to give you a confidence boost either outside of the gym or inside of the gym to keep you motivated, try new things, do new things, then I 100% say go for it. You never know because it's really the little things that you could change here and there that might have the biggest impacts and results for you. As simple as buying yourself some new outfits. Maybe you don't ever treat yourself with buying new with buying new clothes and that could have a whole different mindset shift for you just because you look a certain different way and it makes you feel good about yourself. Maybe you're someone that dreads the morning time, you hate the mornings, you wake up unhappy, not in the best mood and it's probably because you went to bed too late the night before so maybe that little change that you're going to make is getting yourself to bed earlier or even waking up earlier so that you have more time to put yourself together, eat breakfast, feel ready for the day, and that makes you happier. If that's going to make you feel better about yourself and about life the next day, then I say go ahead and try it. You never know if just that extra half hour, that extra hour couldn't have you feeling like a whole different person. So it's really just like playing around, experimenting, but kind of stepping back and looking at the little things that you feel unhappy about and like, oh, maybe I should change this and it'll have a big impact on my mindset, then you do it, it works out, you keep doing it, it becomes a habit, and that habit creates those big results that you're looking for. So the second thing that I wanted to touch on when becoming that girl is making a daily routine for yourself. It's going to, of course, look different for all of us, depending if you're in school, you have a job that works morning, night, day shift, whatever all of that, but if you can plan out your days or even your weeks, I promise you're probably going to feel so much more productive, so much more prepared, and less stressed about things, which is gonna in turn help you to be more successful every day. For example, I write everything out physically in my little planner, and I already have the rest of this month and even the beginning, I may have done the whole month of June now, but I already have things scheduled in and planned out, written in my planner for all those upcoming days and weeks, and we haven't even gotten to them yet. Weekly things that are repetitive, things that I know I'm going to have coming up, like sending out my newsletter each week, posting my podcast, check-ins for myself, check-ins with clients, I'll go ahead and write those in in my planner just so that I feel prepared when the time comes. I know, oh, I'm already ahead on one thing. I've got that planned out. I'm not going to forget it. And that's going to help me be more productive. To me, it just helps to have it written out and be able to visualize it. It just really helps me to stay on track when I plan ahead instead of fall behind because I didn't plan. And that's when you're failing to succeed because you don't have your set out. You don't help your future self set up for success. As we're... I'll admit in the past I would definitely do things last minute or I wouldn't write them down and then I'd forget that I even had these things to do and then I'd be late and then I'd be 10 times more stressed because I didn't have it in my mind or visually able to see. I had no routine and things just fell apart. But so as things come up for me, I'll go ahead and write them in. I definitely use the calendar in my phone too. I plan things in my calendar set reminders, and I've just learned that for me personally, that's something that I need to hold myself accountable 
And looking back in the past to now, it's definitely something that has helped me grow and feel better about myself and most situations. So that's something that I've implemented and for sure stuck with. I also just try to do the same things that I know can be the same and repetitive each day, like wake up and take my vitamins and my supplements, my pills that are daily right away. And then I go into making my same breakfast every day. I journal, I write out my affirmations, I read pages from my book, things that are benefiting me mentally and physically that are still making time for myself and the things that I need and want to do. And then I do the same thing at night, like when I get back from the gym, the things that I know I need to do, the things that I need to do at night before I go to bed. It's all about habit and really just setting, it's all about habit and really just setting yourself up for success in the long run, I think it's better to be prepared than not be prepared. It's better to be early than be on time, you know, things like that. So even if you don't have time for to sit, even if you don't have time in the mornings to sit down and read and eat your breakfast, maybe you have a set routine that you do at night when you get home from work. I feel like you can always make time for the things that matter and the things that are important and they're gonna make you feel like your best self. So the third thing that I wanna talk about and I kinda talked about it in the last one, I guess, but this is reading, journaling, positive affirmations, things like that that I have done that definitely make me feel like that girl and my best self. This is something that I did stop doing for a while and if you ask me why, I have no clue why I did. I don't know. Um, I just wasn't feeling my best, I wasn't as productive, kind of falling out of routine with setting goals for myself, doing things that I needed to do, um, feeling like I had no motivation some days to be productive or try new things or work on new things and put myself out there. And so I did stop writing out my affirmations every morning, I did stop journaling, writing out my goals physically to myself, even though I had done that at the beginning of the year. Um, and I notice such a difference of when I'm not doing this to when I am and how much it affects even just my mood. When I'm paying attention to the things that make me feel good and speaking positive to, positively to myself, I pay more attention to how I'm feeling in certain situations and can change things if I'm not the happiest. So now I am back to doing all of this. I'm back in a routine. I love in the mornings, I grab my multiple journals, my pens normally. I drink my coffee when I'm doing it or right after my breakfast. And it's something that I do look forward to and it's fun. And I do this as I'm planning out in my planner. So then right after this, I can go into what I have planned next to do for the day. I try to dedicate a little bit of time to even just reading 10 pages minimum of a book. And this could honestly be any kind of book, um, whether it's just a series that you enjoy or I've gotten into reading like self-help, motivational, inspirational, positive books like that. I'm reading the Atomic Habits book right now. Um, love that and I love going through it just with my colorful, fun pens to make it fun and enjoyable for me and underlining quotes, things that stand out to me and make me feel a certain way. I even have put like um, little tabs or post-it notes the book that I was reading before this, The Four Agreements, that's definitely a very life-changing and it has some pretty impactful things in there, so I'd recommend that book as well, but I put like post-it notes on pages that I wanted to be able to flip back to and remind myself of things that I had read. Taking notes on the pages, that's something that I like to do too. So I've had some just deep takeaways, I think, since getting back into reading these types of books, and it's fun. So even if you only have 10 minutes, or even if you can only dedicate 5 to 10 pages a day, I think that's something that can help because knowledge is key, knowledge is power, and as humans, we always are going to keep learning, and we should always want to keep learning and growing, viewing things from new and different perspectives and opening our minds. And sometimes you come across things that you didn't even know that you needed to hear, and you're like, wow, I really needed to see that, I really needed to hear that today, and that's why I'm doing this. And so like I've said, I also love to journal every day. So I'll wake up and I'll get to my routine. And then when I start in my journal, I start out by writing out my positive affirmations every day. These are like self-talk, self-love positive affirmations. Um, and I typically write out the same ones every day. I posted recently actually on my story that I had went back and looked through 
some of my old journals back to like three, four years ago. And it was crazy to see the difference of what I was writing back then and trying to manifest opposed, as opposed to now in the past current year in what I write about. Like I used to do always like the three, six, nine manifestation method. So you'd write things You'd write your affirmation, your your wish, three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times at night. And I always would write out, I am skinny, I am skinny, and repeat that. And I would do that every single day because that was my biggest goal. That was what I desired most was I just wished I was skinny. Whereas now today, I'm writing things like, I am healthy, I am strong, I am happy, I'm successful. So... That's definitely crazy to be able to look back and see the mindset shift, and that's where I know self-growth, even a little self-growth has happened, is because of the way that I'm speaking about myself and I'm speaking for myself, and now I want to be strong, and so I feel like the best version of myself is really coming out when I see little things like that where the past me was only focused on not eating and not fueling my body because I wanted to be skinny. But when I write out these statements for myself, the key is to say them as if they're already happening and as if they're already true. So like in the present tense, you wanna be like, I am or I have instead of I will or I get. So instead of like, let's say you were, you have a test coming up, I will get an A on this test, you would say, I get an A on my math test or whatever it is. You act as if it's already happened, it's already true, and then you repeat that to yourself until it comes up and you trick, not really trick, but you speak it into the universe, you speak it into existence. So you act as if it's already happening, it's already yours and it's already come true. You're making your mind, you're telling yourself and you're believing, you're putting out into the universe that you are capable of these things and they will happen and so then after i write out my positive affirmations i say them out loud or as i'm writing them i say it as i'm writing it to myself just to literally speak it out into existence also and then i follow that with writing out a daily intention for myself um what it kind of is my main mood goal intention for the day if there was something i was struggling with the day before the week before maybe it's this week Today could have been my intention was to get my podcast done right away and make it meaningful. And I'm doing that, which that wasn't what I wrote out today, but that's just an example. And then I'll write out my list of specific goals for the day and then a little list of just like long term goals in general. And I keep writing those out each day as if they've already happened so that I'm working towards them. I'm putting them out into the universe and I'm more likely to get there. Getting your thoughts and your ideas out onto paper can just be so beneficial. I feel like, you know, you always see on TikTok, those TikToks of like a girl's notes and it's the most random things, the most random thoughts, sometimes super deep, but it's just like, sometimes we just need to get those things out of our head and onto paper to move past them or even feel better about situations. So if you don't do that already, I 100% recommend it. Even if you don't do it every day, that's not something that you feel like doing or you don't think you can have time for it. Try it once a week, once a week, twice a week. Write out how your week has gone or if you're struggling or having a bad day one day, write it out and I guarantee that you'll at least feel a little, little better about things moving forward. So getting back on this and doing this again has really just made my mornings feel so much more put together and helps me have a positive outlook and a positive productive start to my day so whether it's reading the bible reading a series reading a personal self-help book i recommend doing this for sure definitely one of the things that has helped me feel like i'm working towards becoming my best self so those were kind of just the three main points that i wanted to touch on three things that stick out to me when i think about what makes me feel like that girl, um, who I am as a person, and what makes me want to do and feel better each day. So doing what makes me feel happy, what makes me feel my best, that's dressing up cute, going to get a coffee, doing what makes me happy. Um, 
following, setting, and sticking to my own routine that I know is going to work for me. And then, like we just talked about my last thing, journaling, getting my thoughts out and onto paper, feeling like my best self. And there's so much more, so many more little daily habits. I literally made that as my post today. What is today? The 13th. Um, that was my caption in today's post, and I kind of shared some pictures. So if you want to go look at that, I made a little list of daily habits that I do that have big impacts for me personally, even if it's just getting outside and going on a walk after the gym because the sunlight is medicine to me and vitamin D makes me feel happy. Like we talked about in the beginning, I said I thrive during the summer, so sun is medicine. Um, I'm trying to think of something else that I talked about going grocery shopping and having my food prepared and on hand so that I can make my meals and not fall off of my meal plan or routine. That's something that helps me feel like my best self. So yeah, it's just little habits here and there that work best for you that are going to benefit your life, benefit your schedule, help you build that routine that are going to lead you to being that girl, that guy, whatever it is. I know that we all have different goals, but I know that we all deserve to feel and look our best while we're working towards those goals. So I challenge you to either pick up on more habits or start more habits, add things to your daily routine and stick with them because I promise you that consistency is key. And once you stick with these things and find ways to implement them instead of messing up your already daily schedule to focus on them, you're going to feel a lot better. So yeah, there's really no guidelines. There's no really no checklist that you need to follow for becoming that girl, for becoming a hot girl, for having your hot girl summer. It's really just making your own mental checklist or even writing out your own checklist and checking those things off daily, um, adding things as the seasons come and go. But yeah, for me personally, that's what I feel like has helped me become this version of myself and I hope that you guys find what works best for you too. I hope that you have a great rest of your week, a great weekend, whenever it is that you're listening to this and I cannot wait to be back and chatting with you guys again next week. I did send out the second version of my brand new newsletter called More with Morgan today. I'm sending it out every Monday. I've posted I think three times now a little box on my Instagram story where you can drop your email and then I'm adding everybody to an email list. But if you have not seen that or you just want added, please, please, please reach out to me, DM me, send me over your email and I will get you added to that list. I love how my newsletter turned out. It's so cute. And I've got a whole different list of things that are going to be on it each week. There's going to be a day or a weekly quote. There's a weekly recipe of the week. Um, a workout that I'm loving each week and then I do have a challenge for you guys at the very end but I change all that out each week and then I have links within there's underlined text and if you click on that it'll take you to like for the recipe I have all the steps listed out on how you make that certain recipe but if you click that link it'll take you to TikTok where I show the video of me making the recipe so if you're a visual learner that helps and then I've got a little section for announcements, updates, things that maybe I haven't shared on Instagram yet. And so I just think it's super fun. Another way to interact with you guys and share more about me. Um, so yes, definitely please feel free to add your email next time with the post or DM me personally and I will get you added to the list. But I appreciate and love you guys as always. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of Morgan's Mind Podcast. As always, let's keep working towards becoming the very best version of ourselves possible. Bye, guys.